Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here. Yes, we're still in Dad's workshop, and yes, we're still with the Smart 451. Why? Well, because we're doing, hopefully, a good job of it. Things we've done so far include fitting a new exhaust, treating and killing all the rust, putting new brake pipes on the car. We've put new front pads on as well, and we've had all the panels off and removed bits and pieces and done twiddly bits. When I say twiddly bits, things like new number plates, blanking plugs reinstalled, and some aftermarket accessories. Dad's been in this morning. He's topped up the gearbox oil. If you have got a Smart 451, by the way, the gearbox oil online is a little bit contradictory. Some places say you need ATF3, some places say you need 75W90 GL4. I can confirm from the Mercedes dealership that you need to get yourself proper gearbox oil, uh, which is 75W90 GL4. Doesn't have to be the Mercedes stuff, but does have to be 75W90. So people that are telling you you need sort of Dextron 3, they are telling you wrong. Just to clarify though, that is for the Smart 451, as I say, with this gearbox. So it, it, it is prudent to check, but if you've got one exactly the same as us, it's not Dextron 3, as some places say. Anyway, in this video, um, we have determined that the near side wheel cylinder at the rear here is stuck. It's broken and it needs easing off. We could have eased it off and freed it off and used it. However, for the sake of 15 quid, we've gone and bought a new one. Um, it's from a company called APEC from a company on the internet called Car Parts in Motion. I rate them, they're on eBay, and um, it was sort of next day delivery. In this video then, we'll fit the new wheel cylinder. Dad will talk us through it and get it fitted to the car. Hello. Hey, we've been you? to what? Lidl today. You've been to Lidl? They were in action today. Excellent. And I didn't use them. What, the toilets? No, I oh. stood there and said to myself, I don't want your toilets, even though they are open. <laughs> if you've been following the saga, Dad's uh, have got an ongoing gripe with our local Lidl and their public toilet. Anyway, um, how are you today? You all right? Yeah, I'm blooming good, mate, thank you. Looking it's... forward to seeing this out of my shed so I can paint my radiators. <sighs> We're nearly there, aren't we? We've got a few things left to do, including fit a brand new wheel cylinder, which is what we're going to be doing today. Um, I've never fitted a wheel cylinder in my life. I know you've probably done quite a few. Uh, let's take a look at the actual um, piece. Let's take a look at the, the part because I, as far as I'm aware, it's just sort of got an area to put the sort of hydraulic line in. Uh, maybe the brake pipe goes to it, is that right? Brake pipe, bleed nipple, two screws fastens it on. Oh, there we go. So it's not a genuine smart part. It is an aftermarket part. It does, in all fairness, look different to the one that's on the car. I'm gonna just pass you that just to make sure that it's the right thing before we take it apart. Is it the right thing? You can find out. Looks all right to me, mate. <laughs> we fitted some new brake pipes. If you haven't seen the video, by the way, that is on the channel. Um, how do you prepare this? Is it just a case of taking out? That's the old. Oh, that's Clamp the, the pipe bleed. off. Yeah. Cracked the blooming union. Took the bleed nipple out. Took the fixing things off. Should be pretty simple then, eh? Undo the pipe. Anyway, on a lighter note. Oh yeah. I've got to touch this with a clean cloth though. But I have bought myself a present. Oh, you. Apart from a, another spare. Spare what? Parts magnet. Thing. Oh, that's nice, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Now that is cool because that is a long card edition and I don't actually have a long card edition. I've got a proton. I am chuffed with that. Where did you find that? In One Beyond. One Beyond? That's the local, what, pound shop, isn't it? <laughs> was it a pound? <laughs> no, one pound fifty. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Was it the only one? Yeah. Ah, oh, brilliant. How many did you have to look through to get that? It was right at the front, that's why I saw it. But everything was all the stupid stuff with the, the, the monster surf wagon and all this sort of I'm thing. I'm really jealous that you've managed to find yourself on them, actually, because, as I say, I've, I've not got one of those. That's awesome. Well, cool. Yeah, it's too late for your birthday. <laughs> I haven't got a proton. That can, that can be in Pistons of Podcast this week and also in the background in the workshop. Hang it up in pride of place. I'm trying not to get it dirty because it's, uh, it's going to be worth a lot of money. This is. <laughs> cool. 
cool. I like that. Anyway, uh, I, like that I, I digress. Anyway, you've digressed. I was excited when I found this. No, so I'm, I'm impressed. As I say, it's the long card edition. I've not seen the long card edition. Anyway, let's take a look at this. There's the wheel cylinder on the floor. Uh, there's the area where we're going to be working. You didn't buy that for me. You bought that for yourself. Who, me? <laughs> Have you been out on your motorbike? Because it's been lovely. I went out on my motorbike yesterday. Excellent. Where did you go? I went to Sleaford to get some wallpaper paste. Mm. Not so enjoyable. Why? Well, to take your motorbike out to go and get some wallpaper paste. Well, There's an excuse. Work. Oh, right. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I did went you go the long way? Or? I did go around the long way, yes. <laughs> yes. Fair I did. enough. Yeah. I can't argue with that. I went the long way. The long way round. So what are you doing now? You're taking off that. I'm just undoing that pipe. Oh, the, the brake pipe at the back, which we've yep. just done. Yeah. I'm guessing we're going to have to bleed the, pipe, the brakes again after we've They're done this. They're jolly thing. well there. Hopefully we're going to get some more blooming uh, air out of there then. I don't think there's much left to get after what we got out the other day. Excellent. Um, you've put some gearbox oil in the yep, car. Yeah, top the gearbox oil up, mate. Just, it needed just to tell it. us about that. Well, it's not very exciting. I checked the gearbox oil level, found the gearbox oil was low. Yep. Put some in. And put some in, yeah, that's about <laughs> it really. Fair enough. So just squeeze that together. So here's the old cylinder. I can't squeeze it together because it's... Yeah, da, da, da. Ah, and it's off. Right, let's have a look at the gasket on it. Let's have a look. Has it got a gasket on it or not? Uh, it doesn't appear to have one on, no. I'm guessing this is the original smart part, isn't it? Smart I should think so. No, it's never been replaced in its life. We shall see how we get on. As I say, a few people have said it doesn't like, like replacement parts. Aftermarket stuff, though. But, um, but, um, well, the proof is in the pudding, really, isn't it? Temperamental, are they? Actually, right, so cleaning that off with some brake cleaner. Yeah, jolly well, I haven't touched this at all since we decided we've got to do this. Yeah. Cap the end of that pipe so you can't get dirt in it. Excellent. Make sure you've got a drip tray down. There's not much point in uh, <laughs> <laughs> safely removing the dust and just letting it go on the floor, is it? Do me, grommet. Good. So you've cleaned that off. Dry off with, while we're tinkering about. With brake and parts cleaner. It's not got no sealing stuff on it, is it? No. Ah, it is a Bosch and it's got a part number on there. If you want to replace it with an original L376286. There this you one, go. This one says Bish Bash. Bish Bash. Bosch. <laughs> this is the proof of the pudding with these screws going. So it literally just. Slots through the hole, doesn't it? And then I guess on we'll... old fashioned British Leyland, you knew you'd got the wrong wheel cylinder when the fixings wouldn't fit because there's a little pin. And, it, and for the different sizes, they put it in different places. So if you got the wrong one, it wouldn't physically fit. Oh, but it appears to be going on okay. Yes, mate. Good news. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. So, what we're going to do, we're not going to tighten these right up. No. Because we've got to put that pipe in, so if we leave these a bit loose, it gives us a bit extra jigglage. You've made that look easy so far. That's what you call putting a spanner in the works, isn't it? <laughs> eh? It's all going to go It's all going to go wrong now, the car's going to explode. Pear-shaped now, it will. I reckon we might finish up doing a p how to change a reluctor on one of these. Yes, I agree. Yes, the reluctor on this side, uh, well, it's quite badly corroded, isn't it? How to change a reluctor. I think I'm probably going to buy one ready. The um, offside has been done, hasn't it? That's the right, yeah. previous owner, uh, Neil, has done that. But this side, obviously, it's one we, of the things, if it ain't broke, don't try and fix we it, knew I suppose, it. We knew it? he had, he told you that, didn't he? Yeah. Because then you can see it has, hasn't it? Mm. If you over tighten these, you can split your wheel cylinder. Oh, right, Just okay. Crack it across there if you go crazy. If you go, as they say in Lincolnshire, ram assed. Yeah, you can break it. You can break the bugger mat. While that's getting some tools, you can see the new wheel cylinder in there installed. Ah, Come from copper slip. I'm guessing you're copper slipping the. Uh, the blade nipple there. There we oh, go. Yeah. So I might, I might be the next bloke wants to undo that. I think if we're putting the uh, reluctor ring on, you're going to be. So you're taking the pipe clamp off. Yeah, I'm just going to check the brakes. Yep. Is it, is, is it really as simple as that? 
Oh, yeah, apart from bleeding it. Yeah. Not, 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 they're not all as easy as that. Sometimes you have to spread the shoes apart. Right. But this one, we've got enough room. Will that automatically sort of adjust itself when we... It will, yeah. ...get going, yeah. It will, my old mate. But to tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to give her a bit of a twanging anyway. A twanging? What does that mean? A hit with a hammer? No, 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 no. Well, I might, I might just give it a hit with a hammer, but you never know. In the real world, the main thing that's going to be a problem is getting it all undone. But we've already had it undone, haven't we? Yes. And here's the brake inspector. Oh, yeah, the brake inspector has turned up. Hello. <laughs> She's normally the tea brake inspector. What I'm going to do now... Uh, yes? It's just old-fashioned way. Oh, yeah, hang on a minute, because Crystal's still inspecting. That's all right. Hello, darling. <laughs> hey? What's going to do? Going to stop fiddling with that blinking old car. Come and play with me. Fuss me. So what are you doing now? You see, you're doing some sort of old-fashioned. Yeah, put a little bit of copper slip between the pad and the end of the piston. Oh right, okay. Theory was in the old days it stopped brake squeak. You always put a bit on the back plate as well, where the shoes rub backwards and forwards. Yeah. Stop it going. <coughs> How does it go? <coughs> Fair enough. Well, no, I think they normally go. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. You must have heard I it. I've heard it before. Yes. In the old days when everybody was super thorough, you did this sort of thing every service. But then again, you'd be taking four hours to service the blinking thing. These days you're allowed an hour and a quarter. Right, let's see if that drum fits. I've cleaned all that up. So clean the drum off. It's, we've actually painted it, haven't we? We've got that back plate to do. So that cover wouldn't go back on because you'd adjusted it too far over. Yeah. So we've just adjusted it back again. Now we're greasing the hub. But you've wound it back and you're happy now. It's part of this spot on, mate. Lovely, lovely. So we need that little pot of screws and stuff. Yep, let's get the bits. And now to put it back together. Why are you hitting it? Just to make sure it's on yeah. properly. Yeah, let's settle everything down. Right, so we need to bleed it. Yep. I'll go and assume the bleeding the brakes position. Right, now to bleed the brakes. Easy for you to say. So that is a milk bottle with a tube attached to the bleed nipple. I always use co-op dairies milk bottles. <laughs> Just co-op dairies know you're using their milk bottles. They said you, as, long as, you, as long as you're promoters. Uh, yes, okay. So co-op dairies in 1999 <laughs> gave you that bottle. <laughs> Time to bleed it then, and the way to bleed it is open the bleed nipple, pump the pedal. Let me get in the car. So the ignition's on. Yeah, just pump away. Pumping away. Hold her down. Let us start her up and try the pedal, son. Pedal feels good. Okay, hold it on. I'm checking for leaks. Yep, pedal's held on. Okay, switch her off for now. I'm going to bleed the other side, mate, in a second, just to okay. go at it. Yep. So if you've been following our progress, um, we had a problem with the, the pedal travel, didn't we? When we bought the car, we've replaced the front pads, thinking that could be it. Made it a, a wee bit better. We bled the off side and it didn't really make any difference. And when we were bleeding the near side, a big couple of what gulps of air yeah, the, uh, came out. ABS pump started to run and it chucked Cleared it all it. out. And there is a secondary system bleed procedure for the, uh, the ABS system. Um, we were sent that, but you do need the MB star to do that. Um, we was lucky it started up. Yes. So we think we've managed to cure the... Uh, There's tons of air. The air out. problem and the brake pedal problem. We shall soon find out when we get it on the road and do a road test. Hey, you're not kidding me, that pedal's better now, I know. Absolutely it is. So you've bled that brake. We're going to do the other side now, eh? Yes, mate. Just gonna... Let's go do that. Here we go, ready? Do 
down. Okay. Right, now to bleed the front. Hold her down. Just try the pedal once. That's don't, good, that's lovely. Don't go crazed. Ready? Foot brake on. Off. Thank you. And now the offside front. There's a proper way of doing this, but we're not empty, so it doesn't matter where I do the bugger. Go on then, crack on. Watch your head. Ready? Yeah, go on then. Down. Never got any air out of there. So the pedal should feel fine. Feels good to me. All right then, mate, switch her off. Turn her off. So no air came out of that? Not a, not a sausage. Good. So you've checked for some leaks under there. Any, any leaks? No, only cauliflowers. <laughs> no, all good. Fantastic. So everything we've interfered with on this project, you've checked for yeah. leaks with the engine running and it's not leaking. Good. I think that's a successful refit of a wheel cylinder. What did that take us? 10 minutes? Jolly good. Well, there it is then, a brand new wheel cylinder fitted to the Smart 451, the Night Orange Edition, if you've been following it. Um, certainly uh, easier than trying to faff about with the other one and free it all off. And, you know, for the sake of 15 quid, you've got a new part on there. Um, a genuine smart one, quite a lot of money in comparison. Some people have pointed out on the internet that they don't like aftermarket wheel cylinders. Well, we'll soon find out. If you've enjoyed the process, if you've enjoyed the video, comment down below, let us know what you think. If you've um, been enjoying the content, if you could give it a like and give us a subscribe, we'd really appreciate that. Till next time, have a great day. We are nearly there with the Smart 451. I'm looking forward to actually driving it and giving it a road test. Have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Take care, goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.